Great Lakes are digging out after a massive snowfall. 20 to 40 inches have already fallen and been reported in areas near the Great Lakes of New York. Yeah, let's check it now with Ricky Matthews. Yeah, so I want to uh, first show you a little bit of video from that and then kind of put that snow into perspective. So let's take a look at some of the video of this uh, snow event. You can see they're trying to dig out. They're going to be digging out for a while there, too. It's just going to take so long to get all this snow. Now, the Great Lakes of New York, they see lake effect snow pretty often, but not to this magnitude. This is a lot of lake effect snow. And you can see it's coming down a pretty good clip there, too. All that snow piling up as these heavy bands push in. So with those 20 to 40 inches, let's show you what that looks like and kind of give you a little perspective here. Let's let the snowflakes start to fall and get that base layer of snow out there. Uh, we'll give you a couple household or maybe your home objects to use as your perspective. Your trash can or your mailbox. Typically those are around 48 feet for that uh, 60 gallon trash can that you may have or your mailbox, typically around 45 inches in height. So that 40 inches of snow, that's already getting up to almost going over the mailbox and close to going over the trash can. And it's likely that many locations will eclipse 50 inches of snow right there along the base of the Great Lakes as we go into tonight. To give you another perspective, well, let's take a SUV. Around 67 inches is the typical height of an SUV. So with that amount of snow, that would pile it up to the hood. And of course, the snow accumulates on top of the car too. And so you just have like a big, massive area of snow and likely many SUVs and of course those smaller sedans likely buried underneath the snow. So a little perspective, I'm a uh, 6'2 roughly, so the snow would be pretty much right up to my chest. Crazy amounts of snow. And of course that snow blows and drifts and moves around. So Don, you have the drifts to contend with too. And it's just a messy situation up there. Nothing that, you know, they haven't seen before. They see lake effect snow, but certainly crazy amounts uh, that they're dealing with. Yeah, and they're going to continue to get crazy amounts of snow all the way into the weekend.